we're kind of smack bang in the middle of South Galway here, really, because we're equal distance to Gart, equal distance Loch Ray, equal distance into Galway. I suppose the kick started before I went to school at all. I used to go down to uh, Marion, who was up there, who was up in the kitchen there. I used to go down to her house, as her husband used to, uh, Michael used to play, play a small bit on the, on the accordion, you know? Just annoy the hell out of them. So, he used, used to try to hide it on me. But I'd always, I'd always end up getting it at some point, anyway. <laughs> yeah, there would have been always kind of music like that. It would have been always the gantries would have been on there. Or even the Grothams. I kind of like to identify with Joe Cooley. Very, very emotional player, like, you know. That's what, that's what always came across, anyway. He mightn't have been the most technical player, like, but it wasn't about that, you know. Like, he had, he had lovely twists and turns around tunes. I think that's why so many people love it. The way he used to handle the box as well, whenever he'd do a roll, he'd do this snap with his right, his right hand like that. People tend to forget, you know, that there is more than one style of box playing in Galway, you know. I would have been playing B and C, which is the conventional uh, style uh, around here now. I would have started off the, that with Joe Burke and, and Conroy Burke. Great tuition there, you know. But um, just went, went for, as Monty Python in the crowd say, something completely different. So I bought a C-sharp D accordion when I was 19. Didn't really look back. There's just something about it. it. I think it suits dance music better. And uh, there's no better person around here to play for dancers really than Charlie Harris or, you know, he's with the Tulla or with Desmond Kerr or any of those, you know. They're the people with the stories and they're the people, you know, they have, they're the link, you know. I just always liked kind of talking to, to the older generation anyway because a bit of an owl lad myself. Ha, ha, ha.